really important that landholders do budget their water. There is a lot of talk about budgeting for feed. Well, really, it's the same thing. In fact, water is really more important because you can't utilise the feed without having sufficient good water. So you need to do a budget. The broad idea is to estimate how much consumption the stock on your farm are going to need, and you need to do it to the maximum capacity, not to what you've currently got, what you can run as a maximum. And you need to, to estimate what they will use, and then you need to be sure that you're able to deliver that. And if you can't, you know you've got a problem. I think the drought hopefully has taught some, some lessons, and the best thing to do is now sit down with a cool head, do budgeting, do the designs, and be ready for the next one. With some broad rules of thumb, you can calculate what your stock water use will be. You need to have not just the flow rate, but you need to have the capacity to supply what the stock need if something goes wrong with your water supply. So you need to have a tank that's going to be able to supply that amount of water they need, and normally for a few days in reserve. If you're using dams, we also need to take into account natural losses. Evaporation is a much bigger loss than most people think. So we need to realistically factor in those. You never get it absolutely right, but you need to make a reasonable estimate of each of those factors so you can make sure your stock have the water they need. In the heat of drought, in the heat of summer, even not in a drought time, evaporation can be very significant. It can uh, use up to 40% of the water in dam uh, just in a normal summer. So you need to monitor the situation, and particularly in a drought. How much stock have I got? How much water are they using? And do I have enough in the storage to be able to supply what they need? And if you can see that you haven't, you can take action before disaster happens. In terms of estimating the remaining supply, if you've got a, a header tank, you can normally use all the water that's available to you. If you've got a dam, sometimes you can't get the last bit. So it might be holding water, a certain volume, but you might not be able to access that last bit. So you, are, you have to be careful that you're estimating realistically how much you've got left. This one can run up to 250 head of uh, cattle, and so it's got a demand, when you calculate that up, of about 11,000 litres per day, if you had 250 head of stock. There is a tank on this farm which holds about 95,000 litres. The supply from the pump can be in the order of about 14,000 litres a day if it pumped all day, so it's got ample to supply the rate of use as well. So this farm is actually very well set up to cater for the demand. The budgeting has been done well and it's got plenty in reserve. Seepage in earthen dams is usually a lot more than people realise uh, because the water's just seeping into the ground and you never see it. A good dam might uh, have seepage of about one millimetre per day of depth. An acceptable maximum would be about five millimetres per day. Once you start getting above that, and there are losses above that, you really need to do something about your dam. Put some sealing in, improve the dam, find out where the leaks are. The stories of farmers who have been in distress in the middle of a drought when everything is down and when they see their stock suffering is appalling and it's heartbreaking and people get very depressed and, and wonder how can they come back from this. The water is so critical. The budgeting is important for first getting the system right and then also managing it properly. In one sense, you can describe it as a little bit as a financial budget. If you've got, you've got to get it right to start with and you've got to keep on top of it, well, same with the water.